My research study is on the effects of silent sustained reading on third grade reading comprehension scores. My name is Sarah Howell and I am a graduate student at Morningside College. I am also a third grade teacher at North Harrison Elementary. The problem I chose to focus on in my study was the fact that less than 40% of students in our country are reading at a proficient level. This number includes students in my own class, and it's according to the National Assessment of Educational Progress. I wanted to focus on a strategy that I thought would boost my students' reading levels. Silent sustained reading is a strategy that has been used for decades, and many teachers have recorded positive results from using it in their classrooms. However, the National Reading Panel cast doubt on those observations and did not recommend the practice in their 2000 report. I personally wanted to know if SSR would give me positive results in my third grade classroom. I have seen students make gains in reading while using SSR at the high school level, so I wanted to see how that translated to an elementary classroom. I also have a degree in English language arts and am passionate about reading. SSR began in the 1960s as a way to encourage student enjoyment of reading. Choice is an important factor in using SSR successfully giving students access to an updated classroom library and school library helps to motivate students to read. In his 2008 study, Trudell found that IR, independent reading, had higher rates of student engagement. IR includes conferencing with students about what they're reading. It is important for teachers to use SSR guidelines to have more success. Paul Hedrick and Williams found that ISIR, in-school independent reading, resulted in more students being engaged as they read. This study allowed students to listen to classical music on an iPod shuffle as they read. All of these studies exist as testament to versions of SSR that have produced positive results in contrast to the National Reading Panel's negative report on the topic. Most of these studies are qualitative in nature while my study was quantitative. A student's reading ability can impact the rest of their life. If a student's reading level is below grade level, it is difficult for them to catch up. That is why it is so important to find methods that increase their enjoyment of reading, which in turn makes all their academics easier and increases their rate of graduation in the future. A difficulty with experimental research and SSR is that not all teachers use SSR the same way in their classrooms. Therefore, they don't all get the same results. My study provides statistics on SSR, whereas most other studies simply provide observations or survey results. My study is quantitative in nature, while most of the studies I consulted were qualitative in nature. The purpose of this study was to use SSR in a third grade classroom and see if it had an impact on students reading comprehension scores. The tool used was SSR. The measurement device used was the star reader test developed by Renaissance Learning. The independent variable in this study was SSR. The dependent variable was the star reader test results. The results of this study can be used to help teachers make instructional decisions about SSR. The report that you see here gives me the grade level at which a student is reading. So this particular student was reading at a fourth grade six month reading level 
at the end of the year as shown by the 4.6 score. My study included 17 third graders, none of whom had IEPs. They were of varying SES and racial background, although most were Caucasian. Uh, there was no incentive provided for participation and students used our classroom library and school library that had leveled books for them that corresponded with their reading level on the STAR test. Also, we used the Journeys textbook series that included readers and workbooks, and this is from Houghton Mifflin Harcourt. Students took the STAR Reader test every two weeks during the 12-week study, and the test retest reliability of it is greater than 0 0.90. Students used Chromebooks to take their STAR Reader test. During the intervention stage of the study, students chose a book to read. They read for 20 minutes each morning without talking or moving around. A few times a week, students gave book talks before or after SSR to encourage others to try their book. The teacher read alongside the students. To establish the baseline, students did not participate in SSR for four weeks. The star reader test was given at the beginning and midpoint of this phase. During the intervention phase, the students participated in SSR for four weeks taking the STAR reader test every two. To finish the study, students did not participate in SSR for an additional four weeks, and data was analyzed at the conclusion of the 12-week period. As you can see from this graph, students did make gains in reading throughout the study, but there was not a statistically significant increase in student comprehension scores as a result of the SSR intervention. There was, however, a statistically significant increase in students' reading comprehension from the intervention to the second baseline phase. What does this study mean for teachers, administrators, and parents? For teachers, this study provides evidence of how important it is to follow SSR procedures that have been found to have positive results. For administrators, it means they need to provide teachers with resources they need to use SSR and the flexibility to use it in their classrooms. For parents, it means that they need to encourage their children to read at home. They should take their children to the library, buy books for them if possible, and build time in the family's schedule for reading. Parents need to support their child's reading because it does have an impact on their academic success now and in the future. My study did have factors that influenced my results. My sample size was only 17 students and additional classes would have yielded additional research data. If the study could have spanned the whole year, the results may have been stronger. Ice, snow, and low temperatures caused my study to start late and caused some interruption to the flow of the study. Several students were absent for days we did SSR and for days when the STAR test was taken. SSR was not made up. The STAR test was made up, but may have been taken in a different setting for the student making up the test. Some parents encouraged students to read at home while others did not. Students who read at home were at an advantage to those who did not. A few recommendations I have at the conclusion of this study are that I support continued research to strengthen and validate the findings of this study. I suggest that teachers who are passionate about SSR use it in class because their passion will spread to their students and in turn will increase students' reading enjoyment and reading scores. Teachers should share the research about SSR to colleagues, administrators, and parents. Thank you for watching my presentation and thank you in advance for your feedback.